Welcome to The Great Loop Aboard the Perch. I'm Kim Russo with America's Great Loop Cruisers Association, and we are up to Lake 57 of our Great Loop adventure. Today we have a pretty long run, we, and we are re-entering the U.S., so we're going from Little Current to Drummond Island. We enjoyed our brief stay in Little Current. It was just a one-night stop, but uh, some nice restaurants there, and this is also where there is a daily cruiser's net that you can listen to on your VHF radio. That is done by Roy Eaton, who knows a whole lot about the Georgian Bay and North Channel and has lived in that area all his life and shares a lot of great details each morning. So check out more about that when you're getting ready for the North Channel. In the meantime, it was a bright sunny day and we were thankful to wake up to that after having a lot of rain over the previous days. And the part of the North Channel we're cruising through today is a little bit more open. So having the nice weather made it a more pleasant cruise. We were out there with some other looper boats and it's always nice to see those friends around. Most loopers will spend more time on the North Channel than we did. Uh, because we are working, we had some obligations and had to return to the U.S. at this time. So Michael travels for his clients and therefore it is really challenging to travel from the Canadian portions of the route, especially from the remoteness of the North Channel, which is part of what makes it so stunning and beautiful but we just didn't have extended time to spend there. And for those of you who may remember from our early videos, Margot the bird, the umbrella cockatoo travels with us. She did not come to a, with us to Canada and uh, it was time to pick her up from the bird sitter. So after five weeks in Canada, we are headed back to the USA today. So I uh, went across Lake Huron. There were a few spots over the course of the day that had some light chop in the water, but we also had this beautiful, smooth glass-like water to cruise on for a lot of the day. That yellow line you see is the international border, so we are now back in the U.S. We check in once you essentially touch U.S. soil, so once you are tied up at a dock or a drop anchor. So uh, again, just a beautiful, bright, sunny day for cruising back to the U.S. We worked our way between those islands and into Drummond Island Yacht Haven, which is an AGLCA sponsor. This is a family-run business, and it was great to see they had the kids out there um, doing pump-outs and uh, helping catch lines at slips. So it was a fun stop and we are happy to be back in the U.S. There is our overview on our Nebo log for the day. Because it was an 80 mile plus run, we went ahead and burned some extra fuel and went a little bit faster than we typically do. So six hours underway, 83 nautical miles. We averaged 13.8 knots and did a maximum of close to 19 knots over the course of the day. And there is another look at our track back to the U.S. That was leg 57 from Little Current to Drummond Island. We'll be back soon with our next leg, which will take us to Mackinac City. Thanks for watching.